Now the next style of supercharger also has a couple of different configurations, but it is the oldest type of supercharger in the market. And we call it the root style blower. It uses a two or a three lobe motor to move air through it. Most of the modern stuff uses three lobes, but the compression of the air actually takes place in the intake manifold of a root style blower. The rotors move in opposite directions from each other with a timing to gear to keep them in sync. What happens is the rotors will spin and they'll trap the air in between the casing and the rotors and then push the air into the intake manifold. Now the intake manifold will resist all that extra air being pushed in and so it builds pressure. So this is a very good example of why you'll hear people say boost is a function of restriction because as it pushes that air into the intake manifold, the intake manifold doesn't have enough volume so it tries to resist that. The pressure will increase and it'll push it through. But it's also why when you increase the efficiency of the engine, the boost levels will actually drop but you'll create more power. The blower shop and Magnuson both use root style blowers. The blower shop, if you haven't seen them, are the ones that sit on top of the engine, look super cool. That's the 1071s, 871s, stuff like that. Mike Finnegan's Blasphemy runs one of those. Magnuson also uses a root style blower, but their blowers have a few more twists on them than standard rotors.